So can I wander over? What am I looking at here? Uh, a, I don't have pictures for them because they're random no, 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 NPCs, know, but, but uh, just a couple of older, uh, older gentlemen sitting at a table. Uh, just talking about uh, the new hunting season that's rolled in. Okay. Hi there, fellas. Oh, hey. Um, how's it going? Are you uh, are you here from the uh, hunting lodge? Are you planning on uh, catching yourself a nice deer or two? Uh, no, that's not really my uh, that's not really my specialty. Oh, moose. Yeah. No. 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 It's like no. I'm here with the crew. We're we're just checking out some weird happenings that have been going on. In ah, pff. yeah, sure. You don't, you don't know anything about what's been happening. Nah, there's nothing. <laughs> it's animals, kids, kids are always getting into something. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes that happens. So we've always had bad weather. They cause storms. You're lucky you're not here when we had to operate just off generators for like a week. How long ago was that? Uh, two years. Yeah. Three years. I don't know. Once you get to be my age, the time just rolls right by. Yeah, you guys look like you've been here for quite some time. Hey, now. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I bet you guys have some stories about your different uh, adventures around town. Being up here, you guys have to be pretty tough. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. Took down a bear, hunting knife. That's it. Wow. Yeah. That's impressive. Well, I'll let you guys get back to your stories then. It's like you guys are talking about hunting. You guys are going out soon? Oh, no. We don't hunt anymore. Oh, okay. It's a, it's a young man's game. Yeah. No, that's all right. It's like it sounds... Once, once we hit 60, that was it. You're all done then. Yeah. One foot in the grave. I didn't say that. Oh, that's, yeah. Sorry about that. I'm not trying to imply that you're, you guys to me look like you could still keep going. Sure sounded like you were implying we're about to die. <laughs> ah, well, I'm sorry that you took it that way. It's like, I'll let you get back to your coffee and your stories. You're lucky you're a pretty young thing or else we might be a little bit more offended. Now right. you uh, you run along and uh, enjoy your coffee. You guys have a good day. All right. Thanks, Evelyn. Oh yeah, no problem. Okay. I need to get off this tense music. It's too tense. We're gonna go back to peaceful. Peaceful. Oh, it was perfect for talking to two old guys. Thank you, old man. Yes. Thank you, old man. I it forgot like how one... old I was actually. What was that? It Sorry. sounded like one tent. One tent? What is that? Well, you said the music sounded like two tents. Oh, ha ha ha. Okay. Uh, who's next? Oh, but you've got dad jokes. Oh, I'm good. That was out of character, Cat. You're good Victor as in you don't want to go, or you're good as in you're Victor going doesn't next? have any any sense of humor. I'm pretty sure. I'm ready. All right. So. As you are wandering around town, uh, you see a few kids running around, um, and they're kind of just playing, um, not in the streets, there's like a local park that they're playing in, just throwing a ball around. Um, uh, you uh, are just scanning around with your camera. I'm gonna look, they're in a park playing with the ball? Yep. Yeah, I'll just kind of watch them with the camera. Okay. Um, yeah, they're just playing around. Nothing major going on with them. Uh, they're having a good time. Uh, you, As you're watching, though, they're playing in a park, and then you see behind the fenced-in park area, another younger boy goes running by. Um, he does not look old enough that he should be running by on his own. I'm gonna walk up and talk to the uh, other kids, like the ones in the park. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. So. You walk up. 
and you see oh no i can't just drag and drop from roll 20. my bad give me a second <laughs> um You see this kid. Aww. And this kid. Oops. And they are playing together in the park. Hey guys, how are y'all? Uh, they are kind of like giggling and laughing together. And when they see you walk up and talk to them, they immediately stop and just stare at you. So I have to ask, have y'all seen anything weird? Uh, they just continue staring. Uh, while you are a kid, you are older. Like, a, quite a bit older than them. <laughs> Um, yeah, and the I one, thought. the one, the like blonde haired girl, she's like, mom says we're not supposed to talk to strangers. That's a pretty good rule. Are you a stranger? I've never seen you I'm here Wyatt. before. Uh, I'm Lily. Hi, Lily. Hi. Is this with you? This is my brother. His name's Daniel. Hi, Daniel. He kind of hides behind his sister and like pokes his head out and like just waves subtly to you. How would y'all like to play a game? Uh, what game? I'm going to dig into my pouch and pull out the long range walkie talkie. Okay. This thing lets you talk to people. I know you're not supposed to talk to strangers, but you can tell them whatever you want and have a great time with it. Um, are they nice people? Sometimes. They treat me well most of the time. Okay. Can I can I see? Yeah, here you go. Ha how does it work? You push that button right there to talk to them. And as long as you're holding it, they can't talk back. So you've got to let go so they can talk to you. And if you want, you can tell them your name is Wyatt. It's okay. Um, can I come up with a different name? Wyatt sounds like a boy's name. Whatever name you want to use. Um, can I be Sally? You can absolutely be Sally. What about Susie? Susie works. Sally's better, though, I think. Sally's better? Yeah. Okay. So all of you here across the radio. Hi, uh, I'm Sally. What's your name? Hello? I'll answer. I'm Frankie. Hi, Frankie. I'm Sally. Um, who's the other lady? I'm gonna start walking away. <laughs> this is Maxine. How how did you get this walkie-talkie? Um, a boy a boy gave it. Ah. I looked at the GPS. Right how far away is Wyatt? <laughs> um, probably about like if you were <laughs> booking it, probably about two minutes away. I'm gonna start heading that way. <laughs> We're I like right after now, that Sally. kid. They look too young to be on his own. Okay. Um, I'm at the park. Is that is that boy near you? Um, he's walking. He's walking. He's still walking. Um, he's walking away I'll, from you. I don't see him anymore. Okay. I'll just chime in. Badoop. Uh, we got this, Maxine. Badoop. Okay. He's, he's gone. 
Badoop. I'm halfway there. Badoop. <laughs> Sally, somebody's going to come and and talk to you about and get the walkie-talkie back from you because why Wyatt shouldn't have given the walkie-talkie. Oh yeah, his away. name's Wyatt. Yeah, he shouldn't have given that to you. That's his walkie-talkie. He's not supposed to be just lending it out. Are you okay? Yeah, we're just playing. We're just playing walk, talk, talk, walk. Yeah, walkie talks. My name's Sally. It's nice to meet you, Sally. That's not my real name. He said I could be whatever I want to be. Oh. So what? I mean, my name's Sally. I do. Do you want to tell us your name or no? Yeah, Sally. Okay. He said Sally was better than Susie. Susie's not my real name either. Wow. Badoop, don't tell him your real name. Badoop. It's Sally. It's not Sally. It's not Susie either. Uh, the... There's a big scary man running by us now. <laughs> he's okay. He's he's not scary. He's okay. He's our friend. He's got jeans on his chest. What? He's wearing a he's jean jacket. A... Oh. <laughs> I he don't think jeans are supposed to go there. He's a jean officer, so they just they wear a lot of it. Oh. I've never heard kind of that. Of like, it's kind of like a Sheriff, I guess. Why? Because they thought it was cool. Uh, Wyatt, you hear uh, footsteps pounding behind you. Um, and you right see the boy uh, wandering further into the woods. I'm going to speed up to try to catch up with the kid. Okay. Uh, so as you speed up, you see... Sorry, I got got to pop another one on here. I'm so excited to have all these for you. It's so nice to be able to show you what you're actually looking at instead of me trying to come up with. Uh... <laughs> Charlie, you got eyes on uh, Wyatt. Uh, you see uh... this kid wandering through the woods with a backpack on and he has a um magnifying glass in one hand i'm gonna try to catch up with him uh it's pretty easy his legs are shorter than yours <laughs> his run speed hey. is like your walking speed hey man where are you going Oh, I'm go I'm going on an adventure. Can I come too? Um, no. No. Well, Are you, you look like you're investigating something. Uh, no. I'm actually going. I'm going to make a forest kingdom. Uh, do you want to join me? Uh, we yeah, can be the rule. We can be the rulers of the leaves. As long as we can stay away from that big mean man that's probably following me. Oh. Is he a monster? I've seen so yes. many monsters. You have? Yeah. <clears throat> well, let's get away from him and then you can tell me about some of them. Have I been able to catch up? Uh, yeah, I would say it's actually probably not that hard. Because now he's stopped. <laughs> yeah, so... When I see him with a kid that is probably eyeing me up at this point. He's just I'm staring gonna, at you. I'm going to hang back, but keep keep close enough. I can see what he, they're doing. Uh, he gets real close to you, Wyatt, and he's like, the monster saw me and he backed up and turned around. He knows I rule this forest. That's right. You have a place for your kingdom to set up yet? Uh, yeah, I have a big log, and he wanders further into the woods. I'll follow. Okay. Meanwhile, uh, Charlie is with you. I'm got. Uh, I'm with Sally now, getting the walkie-talkie back. 
But why gave me the walkie? Why it gave me the walkie-talkie? Yeah, but Sally, he wasn't supposed to. No, give why it gave me the walkie-talkie? Sally, I'll give you a different walkie-talkie. Just can't have that walkie-talkie. Will people still talk to me if I have a different walkie-talkie? Tell you what, I'll give you two walkie-talkies, and then you can talk to your brother. Oh, he doesn't really talk a whole bunch, but okay. There you go. Here, 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 Daniel. I mean, John, uh, James. Here, Daniel. Nice to meet his, you guys. His name's Daniel. My name's Sally, though. Mine is it's Sally. You told me that's not your real name. No, it, it's Sally. All right. The, the other lady on the walkie-talkie said not to tell you my real name. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. It's all good. Um, your mom and dad know you're out here. It's all good. Yeah, we're playing in the park. All right, good enough. I, it's just my the, it's yeah. just my mom. Okay, well you can let her know the film crew gave you the walkie-talkies if she asks. Oh, okay. All right, you guys take care. Okay. And I'll go back to my van. Okay. Um, Wyatt and Charlie, I guess, as you're following this, Charlie, I guess you're probably hanging back, right? Like you're yeah. following, but at a distance. Yeah, close enough that I'm not like in their face. But I can close see enough. Them in. Close enough that if you needed to, you could break the distance pretty easy. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, as you're following, uh, this child is wandering in front of you, and he's just marching through, trudging, ba taking big steps, climbing over rocks and different things. Uh, when he comes across a like f kind of flattened area, uh, almost like a hidden grove type of thing, um, you smell pine in the air, the ground's covered in fallen leaves, and he starts laughing. And he's like, hey, it's my kingdom. Um, and he climbs on top of a fallen log and on the fallen log he picks something up and puts it on his head and it's a crown of leaves um, and he shows you and he's like this is my treasures and beside his throne that he's sitting on is kind of like a makeshift uh, box kind of thing made out of a bunch of sticks stacked together um, and in there there is a collection of acorns and twigs and he's kind of just mixing them around making different patterns and things um, and he looks up at you and it's like isn't it cool these are my treasures That's really awesome those are really cool treasures do you I like do, do you want one only if you're willing to share um you can have one you have one you show me which one um, this one. And he points to an acorn, uh, and he hands it to you. I'll take it. I hope oh. it's okay, but I brought a friend with me. What? Let what's me your out. What's your name? My name's Wyatt. Oh, Wyatt. Uh, you're you're now Prince Wyatt. Well, thank you. I'm King uh, Finn. Hi, King Finn. I am your loyal subject, and I have another no, no, subject you're, too. No, no, you're not my loyal subject. You're my, you're, you're the prince. Okay. I'm gonna open up my backpack and pull out my stuffed animal. Oh, oh whoa. What's his name? Toby. Toby. Mm -hmm. mm, he's he's gonna be Knight Toby. Like awesome. The ones like with that. the armor and stuff. He'll keep guard. He'll keep the monsters away. Yeah. Because he's a scary bear. I'm going to set him up on the log where it looks like he's keeping guard. You want to tell me about some of those other monsters you've seen? Um, well, I've seen um, kind of like a skull face monster. Um, it's a big, tall thing with a skull. Um, I've seen a creepy ice monster thing, a big furry thing. Um, 
um, some other stuff, but those are the cool ones that I've seen. Have you seen one with glowing red eyes? Yeah. I mean, the ice thing kind of glowed. Was it kind of dark and shadowy, too? Uh, I don't... What what does that mean exactly? I don't know. Then I don't know either. Okay. What do you want to do? Um How about we work on building a wall for your castle? What are we going to build out of? We could use sticks or dirt. I think sticks and dirt. I like the sound of that. We use the dirt and make piles and then put sticks in it. Yeah. Cool. So are you just going to build a wall with this child? Yep. Okay. Uh, Charlie, what are you doing? Being a, uh, creeper. being a creeper hiding out in the woods I'm trying to not look like a creeper hiding out in the woods watching a couple kids but there, there's no real easy way away from it <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep my distance find a place to sit down but be ready in case shit hits the fan okay um, with that being said, then, I think we're good to go to the next person, because if this is all why it's doing is building a, 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 a house in the woods, then I think we're good. Um, I'm going to set up the camera so it gets like nice wood shots, uh, shots of the wooden wilderness while we work on building a wall. Okay. Uh, okay. And I would have been narrating our adventure on the way out there. Okay. Um, so, with that being said then, Frankie, what do you do next? Um. I. I'm gonna... Try and track down a, at least one of the people that uh, Vicky mentioned had gone to the mill. Uh, okay, so who are you trying to find then? I'm gonna try and find Edmund. Okay. Um, so, how are you searching for him? Um, well, it's a small town. I figure I'll, I'm going to roll over to like, I guess the general store. I mean, everyone's going to go to the store. So hopefully okay. someone working behind the desk knows Edmund. So you're going to the, uh, so let's just be clear. Do you want to go to Glacier General or Glacier Ridge Grocer? Um, we'll go to General. General, okay. So the general store is less, um, like less grocery related and more like um, household goods, local crafts, and uh, like outdoor supplies. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay, so as you head up to the building, you see a sign out front that says Glacier General Store. Um, it's a cozy wooden building with a welcoming front porch adorned with uh, baskets of flowers. Um, the interior is reminiscent of a classic general store, stocked with a variety of goods. From household essentials, local crafts, to outdoor gear. Um, you can find a little bit of everything here. 
uh, as you head in, there is a woman who greets you. Um, give me a second here. I have to get rid of King Finn and add. Um, where are you? There you are. You're probably going to call this one a hippie as well. Um, her. Less hippie. Less hippie? She doesn't have a flower crown. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> and then sending it to um, Discord as well. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so you go in and she greets you and it's like, Welcome. Namaste. Namaste. How are you today? So far, so good. Are you sure? Your energy feels a little off today. How so? I don't know. Something seems a little eerie about it. Well, I myself am strange and unusual, so. That you are. Thank Would you, you like a hug? No, thank you. Are you sure? Not really a hug. Very well. That's fine. How can I help uh, you? I'm trying to find someone in town. I'm not sure where to go. Um, I'm looking for Edmund. Edmund? Oh, such a lovely man. Um, he's a little rough around the edges sometimes, of course. Um, I mean, we are. Trust me, you are. Um, I can tell. I can sense it. And it's not. It's not judgment by any means. It's just, I feel it coming off of you. I believe you. Anyway, Edmund, um, you're looking for him. I May I ask what this is about? I'm with the film crew that's in town. I just got a couple questions for him. Is he in trouble? No. Good. I sense that he wasn't. Um, so, you can go, uh, you can probably find him at the Jebediah Memorial Hunting Lodge. Um, he's one of the guides there. He takes people out into the wilderness and unfortunately harms the defenseless animals but you know everybody has their own way of living true um would you like some artisanal goods we have like, jams jellies um pickles wine oh, wine sounds pretty good I mean, it's a little early, but I can save it for later. Uh, this one here is uh, something I actually made myself. Nice. It's enhanced with moon energy. Ooh. What does moon energy do for me? It makes it so that your spirit is enlifted and it powers your aura. Power's always a good boost. Just saying, I don't know if any of that's true. <laughs> Roll with it. I'm trying. So. Um. That's the thing. None of it is true. <laughs> what's the flavor like on that moon energy? Well, of course, I used um, the berries that I found around here. Um, just harvested from the wilderness. Um, and then on top of that, it's got some nutty notes as well. Um, and uh, overall, it's a, a sweet, sweeter wine with a little bit of a dry kick at the end. You know it's what? also a red. You know what? Sure. I will 
I will try the moon energy wine. Excellent. You'll feel it tomorrow. I'm sure I will. Uh, so, the way money works in this game is it doesn't. Uh, okay. The only time that money is really going to come into effect is when we're possibly upgrading your equipment. Uh, any other goods, services, anything like that. I mean, services if you're hiring like a hitman to take out the monster or something. Obviously, I'm not going to allow that, right? But or if you're like buying food, alcohol, anything like that, money doesn't matter. You're you're paid well from the the company, and that's all you need to know. So we got enough money to live, but not enough money to go spend crazy. Correct. Awesome. Don't don't go buy yourself a super yacht. Um. Anyway, so um, will that be all? Um. Actually, while I'm here. Yes. Have you seen anything weird in the last few months that you can't explain? Any really weird energies that you've felt around town? Apart from myself? Um, one sec, sorry. I have a lot of stuff I gotta scroll through, so give me a second. Now that you mention it, Maggie was in here the other day, and she seemed like, I don't know. It's been going on for a while, since the winter festival actually um that happens um i think that's december 30th so just before the new year um but since about the winter festival she's been giving off a very strange aura and i don't know what it is she's an elderly lady and normally it's just a glowing aura of splendidness but, uh, it's been different lately. If you could think of one word to describe it, what would you use? Hmm. Spooky. Good word. Um, okay, have you seen anything weird? Um... Things out of the corner of your eye you can't explain. Hearing weird noises. Um, uh, if I'm not at work, I'm I'm in my trance state. Just meditating. Anything, anything at work? No. So just Maggie then. I I haven't seen anything myself, but she I think she saw something, something that altered her energy. Well, not cool, but... It is not cool. Poor word choice. Will that be all today? Yes. Then Thank you me. have yourself a wonderful day. And Namaste. Try and fix your energy. It'll make you feel so much better. The moon wine will help. And just remember, I love you. Namaste. I'm just going to slowly turn around and walk back out the door at the I love you. Very well. I guess I'm heading. I'll be heading to the hunting lodge then. Okay. Um, and then now we'll go to Maxine. 
I don't think you asked her name, so you're not getting oh. it. No, she is listed as, um, General Store Wiccan Chick. I mean, I wasn't going Wiccan, but hey, sure. That's the vibe I got. That's how that's I'm fair. describing yeah, her. That's fair. Look, if the first one is going to be Hippie Chick, she's Wiccan Chick. That's so. fair. Yeah, okay. I guess synonymous, but it tells them apart. It's fine. Maxine, what are you doing? Um, I was going to go to the art studio. Because you said that Charlie took pictures? Yeah. Okay. So. So. I say goodbye to Evelyn, right? Yep. But can I zip back in there and ask her where, or will I be able to find You'll it? be able to find it. The town isn't, the town is like the size of, uh. A town. Gladstone. Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I like how, I like how we, we know what that is. I don't think, I don't think Charlie does. But I definitely know Wyatt and Frankie won't. Frankie won't? Frankie's from Ohio. Yeah, I know. But I'm talking about real life. But real life Frankie also would not know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I I don't think you've ever dri driven through it, have you, uh, Charlie? Hello? Charlie? What? Sorry? Were you asleep? I was zoned out. Uh, I asked if you've ever driven through Gladstone. No. Yeah. So, Where is Gladstone? Uh, Highway 16. I might. I need to look on the map. Yeah, no worries. Anyway, so you're going to the art studio. Yeah. Okay, so you wander around a little bit, but pretty easily you see a... Um, A charming two-story studio. It has large windows, um, basically just there to be uh, natural light. Um, it's adorned with like colorful murals and stuff on the outside, so it stands out pretty easily. As soon as you walk through the door, uh, you get hit with a scent of oil paints and the soft sound of classical music. You see soft, natural light spilling across colorful canvases and sculptures, casting a warm glow on the eclectic collection of art. The walls adorned with vibrant murals, and it creates a feast for the eyes. You get hit with a smell of oil paints, and it mingles with the faint scent of wood from sculpting projects. Um, there's a weird, like, creative energy feel in the air. There's a lot of artistic expression that comes goes on here, and it's where ideas start to come to life. You hear a hum of classical music, um, giving you a backdrop to, for the occasional click of brushes against palettes and different people just chatting. Um, it's a really nice space. A lot of artistic freedom and uh, happiness, camaraderie through here. Um, as you enter... Um, you're approached by the owner, which is Charlotte. One sec. She goes by Charlie, though. Okay. Does everybody have a short name in this town? No. Hmm. Don't think so. Maybe. Um, I don't remember now. I did did some of this work a while ago. Um. Saves time, you know. Uh, okay, so that is Charlotte. And she's like, oh, are, are you coming to take part in our class? It's um, about 15 minutes and it'll be starting. No, 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 no. Uh, are, are you Charlie? Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm Charlotte at Adams. Um, I'm the owner of the studio here. But you can call me Charlie, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, um, we're just staying at the lodge in town. And I was talking to Evelyn this morning. Oh, are you... Are you them? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to guess that you 
I'm guessing that a town this size that everybody's heard about us. So yeah, that that is right. And when I was talking to Evelyn, she said that uh, you might be somebody that I'd like to talk to. Um, oh, do you have time she or, did, did she? Or uh, I don't have much time. Okay. I'm assuming you just want to hear my story. Sure, if if you want to, it's like I don't I don't want you to do anything that you don't want to do, but. I mean, you've already been sent here by Evelyn, so I know you'll be coming back if I don't tell you now. So might as well get it out of the way, because I know you're not really interested in actually taking part in an art art class. I, I don't mind looking around. I, it's it's like this is a I, lovely place. It, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, so uh, basically what happened uh, for about a week or so, um, I just sleep upstairs um i've been having a lot of restless nights and i during those restless nights i see things in the corner of my room uh or in my dreams maybe i don't know basically i see this weird creepy ice monster thing ice bean i'm not too sure what it is it's got like blood red eyes um and it's like it looks like a human but made out of ice and you can kind of see like its organs through it the ice um and yeah it's got a mouth like a human and nose like a human but just these blood red eyes um the only way i've been able to get rid of it is i i just keep my room lights on and i seem to be fine after that Okay, that's. Are you okay? That would be quite disturbing. I'm. I'm fine. I figured it out, and I, I've moved on. And uh, now, like I said, I don't have a whole lot of time. So, do you have any more questions, or? Do you? Is there a place that, like, we could go for a drink after, or something that that? I mean, would you like to meet up and talk? I'm not. I'm. I'm just trying to feel people out here it's like i'm not i'm you know it's i uh turner's pub is the pretty much the only bar in town do you do you want to meet up later or is that um i mean i'll probably be there later if you want to come and chat sure sure yeah no that would be that would be great it's like yeah if you could give me any more time and we can chat about it a bit more i'm just like i said i'm just trying to see what's going on in town and and uh yeah that's that's the whole reason about our, our investigation and it's like yeah if we could solve this thing for you guys that would be great it's like that's that's the whole premise of the show is just to see what crazy stuff is out in the world around us so it's like and it's brought us here so to your beautiful town so yeah if you'd like to meet i'll is when are you done here do you uh usually around 7 30. okay well hopefully i get to see you later and yeah it's like it was very nice meeting you uh charlie right you said? yeah okay all right um thanks thanks for your time and i'll let you get back to your uh your class uh yeah thank you um it starts in about 10 minutes now so i just gotta get all the easels and everything set up okay all right um uh, Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Uh, no problem. Also, I forgot to mention this place is called Artisan's Haven. Artisan's Haven, right. Um, okay. Uh, Wyatt, you have built a very, very, very sturdy wall. Um, of dirt and sticks. Of dirt and sticks. And Finn looks up at you and he's like, The wall! It makes it so much better. That's what I was thinking. Um, okay. I should probably go home now, though. Um, thank you. Um, do you want to come back tomorrow? Maybe. I'm supposed to be working. In, I'm looking for a monster. Oh. Um. Well, if you're looking for a monster... Um, give me a sec now. Um, 
do, do. Sorry, again, there's a lot of stuff I have to scroll through here. Um, so, if you're looking for a monster, if first thing in the morning, if it snows, actually, sorry, no, if it doesn't snow, um, if you look around the town really quickly, it has to be first thing in the morning before the sun even comes out. Or the sun's like just, you need a little bit of light. Just a little bit. Um, you'll find like footprints that are like icy. And if you follow those, you might be able to see a monster. Awesome, I'll keep that in mind. I, I, but if you find the monster, you still, you, you have to come back tomorrow. Okay. And then we'll if I find build, the monster, I'll come can back we, tomorrow. Can we build a roof? Maybe. Okay. Anyway, I gotta go by. And, uh, Char Charlie, you see a child running by you. And he waves and like, bye monster. And he runs by. <laughs> And now you and Wyatt are alone in the woods. This is when he finds out I really am a monster. No. Bad. No, I grab him by his bag and start walking him out of the woods. I mean, I'm walking that direction with the camera. No. And I won't necessarily force you, but... He just he just stares at you angrily. We gotta get up before the sun comes up tomorrow. Um, Why? As you're uh, walking back, Finn comes running back to you. He's like, "Oh, oh, um, one more thing. C can I trust him?" He whispered in my ear. Okay. So sometimes, in the middle of summer, there'll be like cold spots. If you ever find yourself in that spot, you'll see the monster as well. Okay, bye. And he runs again. All right, thanks, Ben. Bye. And after Finn's gone, like, okay, so apparently we have to get up just before sun up, and there will be ice tracks in town that'll lead you to the monster. Hmm. Well, make sure they're the main, that the rest of the guys know. Supposedly it's a uh, ice monster, red eyes. Hence the ice tracks. And next time you decide to run off, don't leave your radio with some kid. They look like they needed it. They, they definitely enjoyed it. <laughs> I figured they would. So All you right. have to ingratiate yourself with the locals. Uh, what are you guys doing next? Walking back. Just walking back? All right. So as you are walking back through town, you're kind of just scanning some of the storefronts. Um, you see one called, uh, well, obviously you see Artisan's Haven because it stands out. Um, but you see another one called Blackwood's Apothecary. You see another called Evans Antiquities. Uh, you see Glacier General, uh, Glacier Ridge Grocer, Glacier Wellness Center. Um... And then we'll give you one more, which is Turner's Pub. You know, it's been a really long day. We should probably call it a day and go to the pub. No. <laughs> I hear the drinking age up here is different from in the States. You're not in the States. You're from Alberta. And you're not from the States. <laughs> 
I don't think you're quite what what would it be? I don't know what it is in BC. It's at it's, least nineteen. It's nineteen I, in BC. You're not nineteen. Keep it's, walking, but it's, the only place it's eighteen is Alberta, Manitoba, and Quebec. Everywhere else in Canada is nineteen. Surprised it's not Saskatchewan as well, because the only fun thing to do is drink. In Saskatchewan, yes. <laughs> anyway. Uh, you're just wandering through town then, Wyatt? Back to the hotel yeah. or what? Just kind of taking wide shots of town, walking through it, yeah. Okay. Um... Victor, what are you doing? Boarding out. Yeah. Yep. Get off. That's a cat. Stupid cats. Uh, I've just been watching everybody's uh, goings on, as far as like where he's headed. Okay. I'm gonna. So we're about what time? Just came out. Probably close to good lunch. Uh yeah, probably around lunchtime. So actually, Sounds all of like you guys can head back to the uh, diner and have a quick lunch just to kind of regroup and talk about what you're going to do next. I'm just still heading to the hunting lodge. Oh, you're going to the hunting lodge? Okay. Uh, so the rest of you, do you want to do a regroup or do you want to do other stuff? We can wait till Frankie gets the lodge done. Okay. So Frankie, we'll get the lodge done here. Uh, so you see, uh, as you're boarding out, it's a little bit outside of town, but you come across the Jebediah Memorial Hunting Lodge. Uh, so it's kind of at the edge of town. Um, it is a rustic haven, um, but the backdrop of it is a bunch of pine, a pine forest. Um, exterior is crafted of logs, creates a warm, inviting atmosphere it's uh it blends in with the natural surroundings obviously this uh, jebediah person was obviously a very important figure in town um and uh you just wanted to make it so that it fit in with the natural surroundings seamlessly um out front you have a front porch adorned with rocking chairs uh you kind of have like a man-made pond out front um and then yeah there's dense woods all around it. Uh, once you go into the lodge, you uh, you get uh, a rich aroma of cedar, and you see a crackling fireplace as it welcomes you in. Um, it's got like hunting lodge ambi ambiance, um, exposed wooden beams, mounted antlers, leather furniture. Um, and then, yeah, you have a bar in there, uh, trophy animals. Um, basically, each of the trophy animals is preserved, and then they have a plaque detailing the hunts as well. And then there's a dining area for them as well that they cook up, like, the food that they've hunted. Nice. Um... As you go in, there's a few different rooms. Um, there's a main desk, though, where there's somebody standing behind the desk. Um, I guess I'm gonna just head over to the desk. It's probably gonna be faster. Like, going up and talking to the person? Yeah. Okay. Uh, as you go up, uh, there's a guy behind the desk. He's like, oh! Hey, uh, you're new here. Are you uh, need to get a hunting license, or are you all good? Um, do you um, need to book a room? I'm actually looking for Edmund. Oh, you need to book a guide trip. Uh, whereabouts are you headed? Um, we're kind of scouting all over. Um, I really just have a couple questions I need to run by him he was recommended okay um if you're just scouting admin might not be your best bet samuel might be the better bet uh 
Um, I mean, right now we're scouting, but we plan on doing more than that eventually, but... Are you planning on going hunting? At some point, yeah, I just, I don't have the dates. I just wanted oh, to run a couple okay. the Okay, the, then yeah, Edmund would be your better bet then. He, uh, his family is all skilled hunters and trackers for sure. Uh, so yeah, uh, let me, do you just want an appointment with him or do you want to meet with him now just quick? Uh, I think he has another appointment, so it might be another hour or so. Um, just, if he can have, if he has time today, that's fine. I can hang okay. out. I don't really have anything else going on today. Um, looks like he has a two o'clock appointment if that works for you. Sure. Like two o'clock opening, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Now, okay. normally these events uh, kind of take about an hour or so, so I just want to make sure you have enough time set aside, and then we can uh, set that up. Yeah, it'll be fine. All right. Uh, so, um, looks like we're at about twelve fifteen right now. Uh, if you want to come back in another hour forty five, he'll be ready for you. Cool. Sounds good. Thanks. Feel free to hang out here too. We have food. We have drinks. Whatever you want. Um, yeah, I'm probably just gonna grab a bite to eat while I'm down here, instead of going back up to the... Okay, so you're, you're eating here? Yeah, I'll eat here. Okay. Um, so the guys at the diner just sit around a bit longer, I guess. Um, so the time passes, and, um, you see... <laughs> A large beast of a man come out um, with two other smaller people um, just kind of talking about local hunts and different items and stuff that they, or, or not items but like animals that they can find in the area and this is the man with them um, he is a large man. Um, he is in his early 40s, dressed in a hunter gear. His eyes are sharp. Um, and even though he's very large, he moves very silently, which it kind of shows you how well he's... Basically how well he is, how good he is at his job. I don't know why I kept trying to put well instead of good, but whatever. <laughs> How well he does his job? Yeah, maybe that's what I was... That's definitely what I was trying to say. <laughs> uh, I got you. Yeah. There is... Oops, what just happened? There is the dude. Um, okay, so. Uh, he walks over to the front desk. And he's like, oh, you would have had to give your name, I guess. So did you give your actual name? Yeah, Frankie. Okay. okay. Um, so he looks at his appointment checkbook and stuff. Um, and he's like, um, Frankie? Is there Frankie here? Yeah, right here. Oh. Okay. Don't really give off the hunter vibes, but sure. Come on in. Thanks. And uh, he walks down the hallway and into his room. And the room is just lined with, like, uh, taxidermied animals and, like, deer heads, antlers. His desk alone has, like, antler like <laughs> moose antlers as the legs to, to the desk. Um, and he's Impressive. like, uh, what can I do for you? I, um... Heard you're, uh, wanting somebody to kind of give you the scout around, uh, the area. Kind of wanting, uh, a tracker for later on down the line. Um, how big of a group are we talking? If I'm being honest, kind of just to cover, I need some information. And I'm gonna slide the newspaper article... over to him uh the one about the mill 
Yeah. No, no. Um, I, um... He kind of, like... a different kind of hunter. Oh, you're one of those people. Unfortunately. He kind of does a quick swallow. Um... I, um... I heard you were one of the ones that went in there. Yeah, I was, but, uh... Like we said, it was just, uh, electrical malfunction. These kind of things happen. See, I don't... I don't think they do. Oh, no, they do. Um... Well, they happen quite a bit, what actually. I've gathered, they don't since you guys put in those power pools. Well, I mean, things can happen, especially with these new systems, you know? You never know what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um... So... What did happen at the mill? I, I, I already told you. It, it was just some electrical interference. Uh, we took the power no, out because they don't need it anymore because obviously the mill shut down now ever since Buchanan's took over. Um, I meant what happened... Did anything happen to y'all when you were in there? Not what the outcome was. What just happened? Hello? There we go. Sorry, I was trying to open something. Um, I mean, nothing happened to us, thankfully. We, uh, we all got out, no problems. No electrical burns, nothing like that. No... weird happenings, nothing unexplained no all right listen here i know you type of people come into town all the time trying to figure stuff out and try and mess things up for our town trying to scare people away and make sure that no more people come into town because there's monsters here but we people in this town we try and run a normal everyday business and keep people like you out. And now you're trying to use up my time that could be used for somebody else coming to try and set an appointment with me and actually book a actual tracking session or an actual guide session. And then you come in and waste my time asking me stupid questions about these creepy cryptid monster things. Look. Whatever you want to call us, at the end of the day, we're... We're hunters. And if people get wind... Of weird shit happening like this, with nothing being done, then people won't come. But if... I don't know. They... Oh... You know. There's a lot of sightings of Bigfoot. People love that shit. You're gonna get way more people in here. Wanting guides, wanting tours, buying stuff, keeping this lodge running. You get tourists now, but when people catch wind of weird shit, they really like it. They might like it for what you all are doing, but not for what I'm doing. Tourists are here to hunt my monsters. We're talking bears, we're talking moose, we're talking coyote. Whatever they want to hunt, they can hunt with me. Not your creepy crawly monsters that you th seem to think wander this earth. Well, look, half of why I'm here is to prove this shit doesn't exist, but if I don't have all the information, I can't do that, okay? Okay, then here's your information. It was an electrical interference, and that's all there is to it. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to get some actual appointments with people who are actually going to pay me for my services, unlike people who are just trying to get some information out of me. Alright, I guess I will... 
let the rest of your crew know that you weren't helpful. Got it. Not helpful. Man, that sucks. They gave me some pretty good stuff. Sorry, what are you try what are you trying to say here? What Everyone crew? Else wants to be honest. What was that? You weren't the only one that went in the mill. Great. Tell them. Cool. I just hmm. Well, at least one person's story won't add up. Got it. Sorry. That I'm not what you were hoping for. All right. And Frankie disappears from her camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so he is not happy with you and now is going to be in uh not a great member to reach out to That's um fine. anyway so I'm drawing a dick by his name okay perfect <laughs> um, do we not have uh do we not have cash at our disposal to pay these people for their time we yeah, do. That's... I assumed that an appointment still had to Appointment be paid doesn't for. count as that. An appointment yeah. isn't you guys uh, paying. It's setting up, like, once you actually have the guide session and stuff, like, you are setting up a time for you to go out with him. And that's could where. Smooth that over with some cash. That's where the money is. I think if his time was that important to him, he'd charge to actually meet with him. That's not how these type of situations work. It's... They work like that with half of every other business. You get yeah, a consultation, that... you have to pay for the consultation. That's not how guide businesses work. You basically set up a time where they are going to take you into the wilderness and you pay them for their time that you are in the wilderness with them. Um, I think that's a waste of time. That could be earning money. Anyway, so... Uh, you all meet up back at the diner. Frankie comes in with a sour look on her face. Their face. Their face is always kind of sour, yeah. let's be honest. Yeah, true. Um, anyway, so you guys meet up and uh, feel free to discuss your findings so far. Hey, Frankie. You know how you didn't uh, want to get up this morning? Yes, Wyatt, I know. I have to get up early like everyone. Tomorrow you gotta be up before the sun comes up. Why? Why? That's a monster. Okay, then Why? I'll just stay up. Talk a little louder. Yeah. To be fair, this is Canada in January. The sun isn't up until like 8 in the morning. So, Nine. supposedly there are ice tracks, footprints in town that you can find just before sunup. Supposedly, if you follow the footprints, you'll find the monster with the red eyes. Or if you stare in your own mirror, apparently. Sounds like you guys got some good information. There's... Well, the last person I talked to was a prick and not helpful. Um, maybe avoid the hunting lodge. Okay. Um, but I got one chick. She said all this stuff's happening even after they fix their power problems. Uh, middle of the night in her own home, she's looking at herself in the mirror and her face changes to some weird icy thing with red eyes and it like almost like reached out at her and then she said she heard a hyena giggle does people okay. in Canada know what hyenas sound like I mean they have TV I'm assuming so well hey 
Well, y'all catch up. I'll be right back. Who did you talk to, uh, Frankie? Uh, I talked to the press, uh, the YouTube chick. Her name's Sophia Albatross. Okay, well, no, the reason I, the person that saw something like that, I saw, I talked to someone, another woman, but what was the name of your woman that you talked to that said that in her house? Um, on the record, if this turns out to be nothing, I said that she wouldn't be named. Off the record, it's Victoria Monroe, the woman who wrote that article. Oh, right, right, right. Well, the one that I talked to was at the art studio. Evelyn gave me the name of her. Her name's Charlie Adams. And she kind of had the same vision or no uh charlie's was no she uh, saw I... charlie was his dreams the other girl saw it in her mirror when she was staring no no, no but she was saying she was th seeing things in the corner of her room or she thought maybe it was dreams that's what that's what you explained yeah. to us no that's what i'm saying okay. but like but that's different very... than the mirror thing right okay but it sounds very similar, similar. yeah similar, similar story similar right? experience yeah and you two didn't happen to get a timeline on that, did you? Uh, she said it was a week or so. Not exactly when, but but I am meeting up with Charlie later on tonight at the pub. So I yeah, can get more of that. In uh, Vicky said that if I wanted to talk more, she'd be at the pub tonight. Okay, well, it sounds like this seems um, to be the meeting place. The pub is the the bar in town everybody yeah. goes there um i also was able to get the names of the people that were on that crew that went into the mill okay i figured edmund would have been my best bet but he's just a prick so okay well who did who did who is why getting this info from about the monster he's gone right he, now no idea okay. anybody else know where why i got this information Oh, actually, yeah. Uh, he went with some kid into the forest. You know if his name was Finn by any chance? I don't know. Apparently, why I told him I was a monster. Okay, well, because Evelyn told me about this kid named Finn. His mom works at the library, but yeah. Yeah, we might want to talk to his mom and see if he's told her anything or that type of thing, too. Plus, there's somebody at the uh, apothecary or drugstore or whatever, another woman, too, that Evelyn said we might want to talk to. So these might be some other ones. But I'm thinking that we um, might just want to go to the pub later. Olivia and Hazel are also on the abandoned mill team. Okay. Um, no injuries. Whole team's accounted for. Um, Edmund stands by the fact that it was an electrical malfunction. But Vicky doesn't think so. But if, she, if she's wrong... She doesn't want her name in this. Well, even Evelyn, stuff has happened at the lodge, and she's she's kind of the same mind that it's just people fooling around or things that you know, kids kids whispering or doing weird things and somebody farting around with the electrical or whatever. It's just glitches. Yeah. So, uh, why it's back if you don't want to ask him. Okay. Hey, the kid you talked to, what was his name? Finn. King Finn. King Finn. Okay. Yep. Well, that was huh? the one that Evelyn said, so that's interesting. 
What did Eldolin have to say about him? She just said that he he kind of did the same type of thing that we did, like investigated on his own. He's just a kid, but yeah, it's interesting. Um, I also met some Namaste woman. Um, she has this thing of like reading auras. Um, she said this older lady usually has, like, a glowing personality or whatever. Um, but ever since the winter festival, she gets, like, this strange aura off of her. She used the word spooky. Uh, older lady named Maggie. Okay. Well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and uh, see if I can write some of this up and I'll give this to you, Frankie, too, if you want to give me some of your... I'm assuming you took some notes, too? Yeah, and, um... <laughs> like, they are all over the place, but they're able to, like... They can read it, but they are wild looking notes okay yeah no that's fine yeah the press room's got the copy machines I guess it's like the only ones in town other than whatever we've got so alright yeah like I said you ever need uh... an extra print shop okay um I'm probably gonna go I'm assuming we're going to the pub. Yeah, I am. Vicky for said sure. she'd be there. I'm hoping these other two from the mill will be there also. Yeah. And hopefully, no one from the lodge, because. Like, this dude was big and a piece of work. Oh, I also got moon energy wine. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but. She said I'd feel it in the morning. So. Interesting. I felt weird just walking in there, and then she offered me something artisanal. Okay. And I what else did she offer you? Uh, oh, there was like jams or jellies or something. I was talking about the hug, but yeah. <laughs> I'm not mentioning that. He's a hugger. All right, so you guys have shared your info, and uh, I'm also you have... not mentioning that she told me that she loves. Me. Yeah, I I wasn't thinking that. <laughs> um, anyway, so you guys uh, shared your info, and you guys are have a bit of a plan of what you're gonna do, um, and that is where we're gonna call it tonight. Cool. They, yeah, that's a little bit lower, uh, higher pitched again there, Wyatt. Um, I don't know what happened. It, I thought it was good, and then I was like, kind of listening again. I'm like, wait a second, it's kind of gone deeper again. Yeah, his puberty comes and goes. Yeah, just like a regular, oh, regular teenager. Regular teenager. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah, Vicky, I didn't away. save my original settings. Oh, anyway. yeah. So if his voice keeps changing, the vampires aren't gonna like him. So. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Victor, by the way, we need to come up with a new sign-off since new campaign. Oh, right. Yeah, exactly. There's no more love you, new campaign. Oh, it's like yeah. this. Uh, love you. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So, no. hope everybody enjoyed the uh, the game. I actually really liked this. I thought it, I thought it was well done. Uh, how we all split up and interviewed our own people and everything. It was kind of cool. But uh, that's also my opinion and probably biased. Uh, but hope everybody enjoys the rest of their week. And uh, yeah, have a great night, everyone. Bye. Namaste. Bye, Bye everybody. Namaste. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs>